Hey artists and artworks, welcome back to another episode. I hope you are fine and doing well. So today I'm going to show you how to draw hyper-realistic glossy dripping lips with a single red color. It was really a challenging task but I developed a few hacks and tricks which helped me in the drawing process. And I'm so excited to share each and everything with you all. So grab your red color and let's get started. So as always, I'm going to use these favorite castles 48 classic color pencils. And the reason behind using these specific colors is that they are easily available anywhere around the world. And here's the reference image by my favorite photographer and makeup artist, Ms. Vlada Hegarty. You can follow her on Instagram for more amazing pictures like these. Link of her Instagram profile is in the description. If you are planning to recreate this artwork, please don't forget to give credits to this amazing artist for her extraordinary work. So I've selected these 9 colors from the box and now I'm gonna reduce my selections to the ones which genuinely matches my required color tone. You can watch my previous videos on color pencils to see in detail how I select colors for my artworks. Click on this card to watch the video. So first of all I'm gonna grab this 327 and fill this rough outline with a base layer. By the way I drew this rough outline using grid method and the link is in the description. You can also add a few lines or marks like this to preserve the areas where highlights are present to remind you the exact positions during the highlighting process. And you can watch the real time trail on my Patreon profile, link is in the description. The basic purpose of adding a base layer is to flatten the texture of the paper. Even the smoothest paper available in the market will have some kind of texture. Ok now I'm gonna increase the pressure and add the second layer using the same 327. And by the way I'm gonna use the same 327 throughout this drawing. So you don't have to switch to any other color in this whole drawing, except the black one. You can also add a slight shade in these white highlights. Ok now I'm gonna grab this 399 black color to add some contrast. First of all, I'm going to shade this lower portion, just a little bit. And also add these light texture lines in this right portion of the lip. And make sure you don't press too hard against the paper or you will mess up the base layer as well as the texture lines. Repeat the same process on the other side. Ok, now I'm gonna grab this dry brush and blend this contrast layer, just a little bit. Now I'm gonna take this white jelly roll pen and add these small texture lines along this upper outline of the lip. You can also use a whitener aka correction pen for this purpose. Just fill this small portion and you are good to go. Now slightly blend the highlights with a clean dry brush. Now grab the same gel roll pen or correction pen and add these random shapes along the texture lines. You can follow the reference image for this step if you want. Ok now grab the same 327 and add a slight shade in the highlights. And please make sure the highlights are dry before you add these shades. Moving on to the middle portion. First of all, I'm gonna add these texture lines in the lower portion, and then I'm gonna trim those lines as desired using the same gel roll pen. While the highlights are drawing, let's repeat the same process on the slower side. Ok, now I'm gonna shade these highlights using the same 327.
and in this middle portion you just have to share some of these areas to match with the reference image or you can just share it randomly if you have confidence on your creativity. And you can also add some of these highlights later if required. Anyways, moving on to this right portion and the overall process of the highlighting is same as I did for the left side. Okay, moving on to the teeth portion, just grab a black color and darken the outline. Now grab the same 327 and add a light base layer. Now adding a light layer of black color. And adding the third one with 327. And also add this dark red shadow of the red berry on this right teeth. Okay, now blend these shades with a dry brush. Now grab the gel roll pen and add these highlights. Okay, moving on to this red berry. First of all, I'm gonna darken the outline and then I'm gonna fill the outline with a base layer. Obviously with the same 327. Now I'm gonna add the second layer by increasing the pressure, just a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna grab this black color and slightly darken the outlines of these circular segments. Again, you can follow the reference image for this step if you want. Okay, now I'm gonna fill these segments with a contrast layer using this black color. So as you know I'm a self-taught artist and I learned by doing experiments. So I tried adding these highlights with a gel pen but they didn't work like they should. So I scraped them off with a craft nap and then tried adding these highlights with an eraser pencil by Stadler. And by the way this thing I recently bought is very useful in some cases. And I'll make a review video along with several other recently bought art supplies in a few days. So anyways this eraser pencil didn't work so well in this case. Because we needed some sharp white highlights in the middle and also in the corner portion of these little segments which was really an hectic job. So I tried using this rectangular shaped mono zero razor by Tombo and it worked like a charm. And then I added some darker shade around these highlights to make them look more prominent. And I also added these little hair like thingies with a gel roll pen and blended them with the right color. So that's the complete process of how I created this texture on Redberry. And I'm gonna repeat exactly the same process for these remaining little segments. Also fill this empty portion between teeth and red berry with a black color. And also add this contrast in this inner portion of the lip. Again the real time trail is available on my Patreon profile and the link is in the description. The only difference in this shading process is that you have to add a slightly darker shade in these lower segments of the red berry. And the rest is same as I did for the upper little segments. Okay, now I'm gonna add those hairy thingies again with a gel pen. And this time I tried blending them with an orange color and it turned out really well because these hairy thingies are yellowish in the reference. 
So anyways, filling the surrounding portion with a black color and make sure you leave some extra space like this for the lower lip. First of all, as always, I'm gonna fill this with a base layer and then I'm gonna increase the saturation by increasing the pressure in the second layer. Okay, now I'm gonna add some contrast with the black color. I'm gonna add a slight shade on both the upper and lower sides of the lip by following the reference image. And I'm gonna repeat the same process on the other side. Blending with a dry brush. Okay, now I'm gonna add those fine texture lines in the corner portion and along this lower outline. And also add this random knife shape highlight in this portion. Blending the highlights with the red color. And adding these highlights along the lower side. Adding some texture lines with the black color. Okay, now I'm gonna take this mono zero razor and clear the shades from these marked portions. Adding the sharp outlines for the highlights. Okay, now I'm gonna add some sharp white highlights with the gel pen in between those light highlights. Now I'm gonna add some red color shade around the outline of these highlights. And also trim some of these highlights as you like. Now adding the same texture highlights like I did for the left side. Okay, now I'm gonna fill this remaining empty portion with the same black color. And also add these little highlights in the lower portion. Okay, moving on to this drop. First of all, I'm gonna fill this with the same 327. Now I'm gonna add some contrast around this drop. Now adding these highlights with the gel pen. And blending the highlights with the red color. And here you go, your hyper realistic glossy dripping lips are ready. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please consider supporting me on Patreon for some extra content every week or even if you want me to keep making this type of useful content on YouTube. I recently updated my Patreon reward tiers and now you will have this opportunity to get one of my original YouTube artworks. And special thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And please don't forget to sign up using my link to get 2 months free of Skillshare Premium. So thank you so much for watching, keep learning, keep drawing and I'll see you on Saturday.